Today we're in the beautiful town of Introdacqua, just five minutes outside the stunning town of Sulmona. And today we're going to see a townhouse that has a couple of surprises. And one of them is a garden. Wait while you see this one. So Intro d'Aqua is, is one of my favorite uh, little towns. Every time I bring people here, they absolutely love it. It's a beautiful, uh, I would say town, but it's possibly you would call it a village. Um, and it's five minutes outside of beautiful Sulmona, which you've seen many times. I'm gonna use this, this intro for a number of properties that we have for sale here. So apologies if you've seen all this before, but you can just fast forward at the end of the day, can't you? Great atmosphere in this place. And a great Irish bar. <laughs> you don't find many of them in the little uh, towns and villages of Italy. Some work going off at the end of the road, redoing a, a beautiful palazzo. Just look how gorgeous. See, I didn't say that word yet. I use gorgeous instead. It's not the same though, is it? <laughs> it is stunning though, is it? What a beautiful place. Down here there's a great restaurant here. There's another restaurant uh, in the countryside. There's pharmacist, bit of everything. But you are only five minutes, as I've said before, from beautiful Sulmona. You could probably even cycle down there. And there's buses that take you into Sulmona. And once you get there, you can pretty much get wherever you want to in, uh, in Italy. Just look at some of the, some of the buildings here. So much character in these places. Absolutely love these towns and villages. Here's the, uh, the post van. This always happens to me. It's always dead quiet until I press record and then everybody starts to come in their cars. Look how beautiful this is. I'm stuck for words. <laughs> it does happen occasionally. But how beautiful is that road? Stunning, stunning, that's the word. That's the only word you can use here. So that's a little introduction to Intra d'Aqua. Apologies if you've seen this introduction before, but it's uh, worth looking at. Worth looking at again. Okay folks, so the town that you've just seen is, is just five minutes walk up the road there. And the property is just down here. And it's this one, after the green one, this beige colour property over three floors. This is a real traditional town property. But this has a few surprises in it. The bad thing is, is these houses sometimes look, they don't look small, but because they're, they seem to be tall and, tall and thin, pretty much the opposite of me. Uh, well, no, I am tall. Anyway, I'm going off track. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the, the space on offer here is just superb. This one is a, is a great one. This street's really nice. Less than 10 minutes in the car, you'll be in Sulmona. You could even cycle down there. Sulmona, sorry. You could even cycle down there with no problem at all. Really like this street. Tree-lined street and the beautiful town just at the end there. What a great property. The other nice thing is all the, the doors and windows, they're all arched. I don't know if you can see that, you should be able to see that on the video. Superb, and look at this, look at this for a front door. How cool is that? Okay guys, let's have a look inside this one. Okay, so let's look inside this one. This is a great property. So this is sort of a bit echoing here, but uh, this is an entrance hall, 
But you could use this down here as a mini apartment if you wanted to, and you could maybe have a corridor in that closes this stair, the staircase, leaving this separate. But it's quite a quite a big uh, entrance, so it could definitely be used as something else. Even if you wanted a kitchen down here and a bedroom in the back for extra space to make it a three bed property. But uh, so this room in the back is a little bit dark because there's no electric on at the moment. It's full of features that I don't think this camera is going to pick up. We've got the original, original flooring and then amazing um, vaulted ceilings. Now there is a kitchen upstairs, but part of me is also tempted to have a, a summer kitchen down here, maybe with a, you could have a pull down sofa and that kind of thing that can turn into a bed for, for guests. There's the, these two rooms are really usable. You just have to think about what you want to do. Let me know in the, uh, in the comments below. So this area at the back, we have a terrace above us, but I think something could, this is great storage, it makes this room a little bit dark, but again, you could do something clever in here. There's things, I don't know, you'd have to have a good think about this one. You know I like to give you ideas of what you can and can't do. Part of me wants to open it all up and just go straight out onto the garden that's down there. But part of me thinks that you could do something really clever down here. I would definitely have another bathroom maybe in this corner because the pipe works are coming down. So we know that the the drains and the water and everything else is in this area so you could have a bathroom in here even for your for the garden uh, and as i say in there you could have maybe a summer kitchen with a uh, a bed sofa i don't know my imagination's running wild i love all this this stuff they see it as nothing but these uh, old ladders and these parts of these barrels and things like that they're so they're, they're just hung up everywhere look at these meat hooks as well just hung around the place that would have been used years ago uh, and now people put these things back in the houses once it's all done up anyway let me move on this is a huge storage room apparently this is where a pig used to live and there you go <laughs> a pig sty and it is a little bit of one at the minute but there you go um, but again great size this could be this could be utilized Let's move on to the garden area. So as I mentioned before, this is the pigsty <laughs> to the left. All of this could be taken out if you, if you wanted to, but there is a terrace above there, so I would, I would keep this. But just after the pigsty, how many times am I gonna say pigsty in this video? I would, <laughs> I would probably get rid of all these little bits. These are where they used to have chickens and all that sort of thing. I think I would start the garden from, from here. Fig tree here, look, figs are just uh, getting going. So yeah, I would definitely start the garden from here and just take all of this, uh, take all of this out. Obviously we are on the outskirts of the town, so you do have neighbors, but that's part of living here. That's the nice thing to be part of a community. And the great thing with this place is you're in the town you've got all this outside space and just look at these just look at the views around nice to see blue skies today we're having such strange weather at the minute in uh, in Italy but today is a beautiful day and that is the town so you're a few minutes walk outside of the town have a little look around the garden it opens out then at the bottom, so this is a this is a nice size garden, but it wouldn't take too much looking after. Look again, look up at the the town. This area is 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 that word is stunning. I love Intradaqua. I love it that much. I can't even say the name. <laughs> so a good sized garden, you could make it even low maintenance if you wanted. But it'd be always easy to find somebody that would take care of uh, take care of this and the property is sort of hid behind this this tree brilliant great to have this sort of uh, space in a town it's actually quite quite rare to uh, 
to have this sort of uh, size garden in a town. Okay. Completely put the wrong shoes on today and my feet are just getting wet. Don't know why I share these things with you. <laughs> Let's go back inside. We'll start back in the, uh, the entrance hall and make our way back up into the house, to the main, uh, to the main part of the house. So, back in the, the entrance, let's take the stairs up. Stairs in these places are a little bit steep, but that's part of the charm. Let's go to the right first and see the kitchen area. I'm going to tell you what I would do with all of this shortly. So, this has a working fireplace and again these properties will be made of stone or antique brick I would say stone on this so you could reveal stone if you wanted to then it leads out into this part which is the main kitchen if you like and the great thing is then you go out onto this great size terrace with beautiful views yes you have neighbors as i mentioned before but that's part of the that's part of the joy of living here is getting to know people that is the uh, that's why you want to be in italy isn't it yes for the peace and quiet and everything else but nothing better than getting to know getting to know your neighbours. Okay. Back inside. And I'll show you shortly what I would do with all of this area. This takes us upstairs to the bedrooms. Quickly show you the, the bathroom. When I take people around, they always ask me about why why Italians have such tiny baths <laughs> it is quite small that isn't it but lounging around in a bath is not an Italian thing so they literally will sit sit on the seat, seat area here do what they've got to do and get out and that's it this is the the gas boiler not brand new but they say it works looks in good condition okay so I will tell you what I would do in this bathroom area to make it a full a full bathroom because at the minute for me it lacks a shower let's discuss that before I show you the lounge this is my thought thought I nearly said thought thought this door I would block that up and I would remove this because it's a a nothing wall just to open out into a into a bigger kitchen or dining area I do actually quite like the kitchen being through there um, the main part the cooking area but with this open this uh, this part up to roughly the cupboard it would just open it up a little bit and it would make a really nice dining area the reason why I said that I would close that I would close that up completely the entrance to the bathroom then I would potentially put here I know it's in the kitchen but you have to have a you have to be a little bit more open-minded when you have these uh, these uh, Italian homes because the, the layout is the, the the bathroom wouldn't have been here before this has all been an extension this would have been because people had things bathrooms and toilets in their back gardens before so you have to play around a little bit with these these things but I would have a door here and what would that create? Why would I do that, I hear you saying? Because then, you would come in to this bathroom from here, okay? I would get rid of the, the Smurfs bath and rearrange maybe the sink, maybe put the, the toilets and bidet in there or just rearrange something, maybe a nice sink in that area and still keep the toilet and bidet in this area. But then when you come into the bathroom, 
this area here for me could then be a shower rather than a strange corridor that it is now this will be blocked off as we say from um, from the corridor out there and this area would then become a shower to me that makes uh, a lot of sense I can hear you saying ah, not a bad idea I can also hear some of you saying ridiculous but that's up to you <laughs> in my opinion that's a pretty good idea I can't claim it to be mine it's uh, it's actually Domenico who I, who I work with here but uh, I'll claim it for my, for my idea for now okay so that would complete this area let's have a look at the lounge area and this this is the lounge great size lounge and beautiful vaulted ceilings well worth chipping away in a corner just to see if this is the the antique terracotta bricks which I'm sure it will be and to reveal all of this in those bricks would just be you know what it would be it would just be stunning I would have a similar layout probably the TV on this area and a similar similar layout to what they have, have now sofas this dining table would go in the kitchen for me always happens this in, in Italian homes people don't use the lounges as we use lounges they sit around the table that's that's what happens that's why you always see lots of dining tables around very rarely you would see an Italian family lounging around on the sofas watching TV okay just off this I love these arched windows and doors they are single glazed so it would obviously be better to change them but they are in great condition so you don't have to do it. these are all things that you can do later and even all the works that I spoke about it's not that you have to do these you can move in now people lived in here up until two years ago but it's nice to have a little balcony there's also these wooden shutters as well these are great uh, great things you just need to just repaint them here's the, uh, the the street view and you would just go up there and into the center this is there's two ways into the center the main car parking uh, is, to, is from a street that runs behind us so you're not going to get loads of passing traffic and there's Domenico again look. <laughs> We have, to, we have to get him in on each video. He's starting to think he's a little star now. For those of you who don't know, Domenico is somebody who I work a lot with in the Sulmona area. Great guy, great person. I've, I very rarely work with, uh, with others, um, but he's brilliant. Anyway, that's enough singing his praises. Let's go and have a look up the stairs. Remembering the layout, we've had those rooms downstairs that you could definitely do something clev clever with down there. Up here, really nice lounge. This could be a dining area, a full bathroom, kitchen through there, terrace, gardens, and everything else. Let's see the bedroom areas. So again, these steps, a little bit steep, but that's just the way it is. You have to get up a decent height because you've got those vaulted ceilings below. The ceilings are so high. First bedroom. Possibly, I don't know if I'll class this as the master, but maybe. Nice flooring. Great size. And it also has a little balcony out there. I will say, on this... Uh, on this property you will see some marks up in the corner here this is the chimney that goes up obviously from the kitchen and they need to redo around the chimney area on the roof which the owners have programmed to do that so that uh, that will be done great size room really high ceilings lovely windows again so they are, old. They are older but they still work fine I've got these shutters inside as well which is which is great they just need restaining but just a great arch excellent size what I would consider in here is potentially having an ensuite here in this corner because because directly below us is the bathroom so we could easily get the pipework 
down there, as I would be tempted to add an ensuite. To do something like that, you probably have to estimate between six to seven thousand euros, I would say, to, to create a bathroom. Uh, but it's definitely big enough to do that. And this could then probably be the master. Whenever I say the master, I always remember that horror film, the Salem's Lot. Can you remember that one? I <laughs> don't know why that, that came to my mind, but, uh, but there you go. And just look how stunning this is. Inside a town, but listen how quiet it is. And no, that's not because nobody lives here, because lots of people live here. It's just quiet. As soon as I say that, a car passes by. I don't know if you can make it out as well, the mountains there in the background. Beautiful. Oh, and there's a dog. <laughs> All we need now is a few trucks and loads of uh, motorbikes. Okay, let's look at bedroom two. So where I am now in this corner, this is where I potentially put a bathroom. And the next bedroom, again, brilliant size. The height of these ceilings, they've got to be three meter ceilings, they have to be. And look, we've got a huge wardrobe in here. Quite a big bed, units, everything else. Um, there's still loads of space. This would make a, a beautiful guest bedroom if, if you use the other one as, as uh, uh, the master. Even though this is, a great size for a master bedroom as well. We could speak to a plumber to see if you could also get a bathroom in here, see where we would chase the pipes in. When you've got thick walls, you can always chase pipes in, but, uh, or what you could do if you didn't want this to be an ensuite bedroom, then you could, you could make it a bedroom that both bathrooms could use and just make this bedroom a little bit smaller. I'm not sure about that. At the end of the day, if somebody needs to use the bathroom in the middle of the night or whenever, then just go downstairs and use the one there. It's for your guests. What else do you want? You don't want to treat them too well. If you treat guests too well, they stay longer. <laughs> and we've got another little balcony out here. Let's have a look at that. Again, same types of doors with these arches. I do really like these. And the shutters on the outside. This is beautiful. This is stunning. And that's the, that's the town centre just up there. I love these street views. And then you've got the mountains there in the distance. I love views like this. And that's it, folks. There is a door in here that leads up into the attic space just for storage. that's the house so what do you think of this one let me know in the comments below and let's do our roundup and my thoughts on this so houses like this are really popular it's one of those one of those properties that you could come in start using straight away and just slowly slowly do things over time or it's one where you could come in and spend, I don't know, you could spend another, whatever you wanted to spend on it and make it into something really incredible. Properties like this and this size and this location, I would always keep my budget up to say 100K. So by the time you bought it, if you really did want to throw a lot more money into it, then I, I would probably say no more than 30 odd K to put into it, then you would have an unbelievable property at a, still at a great price if ever you wanted to sell. Hopefully that's not gonna happen, but if you did. Or as I say, you just use it as it is. Whichever suits you. You know, do things need changing? Yes. Is it urgent to change? No. That's this kind of property. But it's a great size. You think about what you've got on offer. Potentially three bedrooms if you use that, if you're clever with the space down below. A garden, lots of living space. Great location. Superb property. 
really like this one and I know I keep speaking about Intro d'Aqua but it is a really nice place and it was a real popular place for, for expats uh, before lots of houses sold to expats and, uh, and that's happening again so yes great one in my opinion either come and use it as it is or if you've got a slightly higher budget throw some money at it and make it incredible love it absolutely love it okay guys thank you once again for joining us really appreciate all the support you give us as usual the 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 channel is is growing because of people like you watching the videos and i really really do appreciate it i'm going to be bringing lots more video content to you um and we keep doing our live streams as we do every single week every thursday where we talk about the legal um the, the legal aspects of buying a property in italy as well as many other subjects so make sure you join us on youtube and facebook and uh, and again thank you so much for your support don't miss this one